in the turbulent world of politics, where leadership, economic stability, and the truthfulness of promises stand as the pillars of public trust, the weight of Kamala Harris's words carries more than just hope. It bears the heavy burden of rising skepticism. The struggle to keep up with the soaring cost of living is not just an economic issue. It's a personal battle for countless families, one that seems far from won despite the assurances from those in power. As president, I will take on the high costs that matter most to most Americans, like the cost of food. We all know that prices went up during the pandemic when the supply chains shut down and failed. But our supply chains have now improved and prices are still too high. A, lo a loaf of bread costs 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. Many voices are rising in frustration, pointing out that the same administration now pledging to lower food prices is the one under which these prices have spiraled out of control. It's a bitter pill to swallow for those who see this as more than a policy misstep, but as a profound contradiction, a cry from a public that feels betrayed. The notion that the very hands that stirred the flames of inflation now promise to extinguish them is more than just ironic. It's infuriating. It feels like a mockery to those who have watched their grocery bills climb higher and higher, despite being told that relief is on the way. This frustration taps into a deeper belief in the power of the free market, a belief that resists the idea that government intervention can undo the damage it has already done. There's a growing weariness with political promises, especially when they seem to fly in the face of past actions. The public is not just skeptical, they're losing faith. And in this climate, every word from a leader isn't just heard, it's weighed, measured, and often found wanting.